And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gruel Aggro in Historic. We're bringing it back. You may remember us playing this deck. This is my most popular video um, on YouTube with Historic because I said it was the best Historic deck at the time. And it still could be. I'm not sure. We still don't really know like what's really going on with Historic too much. I've been playing against a whole lot of Gruel and a whole lot of Simic Oko decks. Those are kind of the two most popular things that we've been playing against so so far we're running just the same 75 back um you know we played this about a week ago whenever historic came out i guess it was exactly a week ago we're running the same 75 back um we went 5-0 with it last time we're gonna be we're just gonna be doing a shorter video today we're just gonna be playing three matches um it's a little later already so we're just gonna be doing a short video trying to uh get our gruel smash going obviously this deck's all about ember cleave it's like the most important card um, one thing is like the, this two mana slot with like Harpooners, Paradise Druids. Um, whenever I'm playing against people playing this deck, basically everybody else is playing Zyrtok Zerta Goblin. But I think I honestly really like Har Harpooner better. It's it's pretty, you know, it's very close. The Goblin, of course, has the haste and everything. It's very close, but I think I like the Harpooner better. There's a lot of, uh, like I said, there's a lot of Simic Oko decks, and so a lot of Gilded Goose in the format. And just being able to kill the Gilded Goose is, is awesome um, for two mana. But then, um, you know, but then also just other stuff. Yeah, like like Hydro Crisis. And there's just other, like, flyers that are just kind of around. You get to use this as some, some interaction in your main deck. Um, I've been happy with it. Um, but, yeah, that's that's a card to maybe, that could maybe uh, be switched, you know. I know a lot of people like the, Zer the Zertok Goblin more. But I wanted to talk about that one. Um, Domer's Ambush is just kind of awesome always. This could also just be a main deck card. It could be playing this instead of like Bone Crusher Giants and some of these, but um, it's hard to it's hard to fit everything in. It's hard to fit them all in. So we got the ambushes in the sideboard, even though we're going to be bringing them in a lot. So we'll be playing against creatures a lot. Um, but yeah, let's give this a try. So here we go. We're going to play some Ranked Historic with Gruul Aggro, take advantage of <clears throat> the power of Once Upon a Time with uh, Burning Tree Emissary. Yeah, so we're real good against Scapeshift and Nexus. Yeah, especially with all those Cinder Vines in the sideboard. That card's so good against Nexus. It's possible I have too many Cinder Vines in the sideboard. It's possible. And that we could use those sideboard slots somewhere else. Yeah, the Harpooner being our only card without cosmetics is pretty annoying. I wish they had to make a cosmetic for that. Seriously? I thought for sure this would be basic forest. I guess not. Well, I'll take the burning tree. So, you know, we can play, have multiple burning trees here. I have never had this happen before with Once Upon a Time. This is unfortunate. Hmm. 
All right, we got our second land. Got a bunch of stuff in play. No blocks. Play the harpooner just to get to get uh, three three attackers on the battlefield. Where if we drew a red source, we'd be able to play Emberkley the very next turn. I guess this is over. Yeah, this is over. All right, so Wicked Wolf, Voracious Hydra. Of course, they're going to be playing Oko as well. We're going to need these ambushes. Hmm. Just going to kind of trim some of our other two drops and play the ambushes. Yeah, I mean, we were we were very far behind and my opponent played a, a questing beast. No, I don't really play EDH. Um, I... I enjoy EDH each time I get to play it, and I'm very glad that it's a format and think it's a lot of fun, but don't get to play it too much. Yes, there is a, yes, they have a, um, if you go to, I think it's magic.gg, that's the site that has the, the decks that are being played. Looks like my opponent's probably gonna have, like, Aether Gus. They're not playing anything. Could be counter magic, could be brazen borrower. Huh. 
<laughs> Thanks, Lords. We're not doing too great right now. Yeah, okay. Alright, well that was a great turn for us, so they didn't have anything but just play Brazen Borrower. That's a really good turn for us. Oh yeah, yeah, MTG Goldfish has all the deck lists. Yeah, good call there. Alright, we're going to a game three. Could play some Veil of Summers. Keep that from like ether gusting and bouncing and stuff like that. But it's not very good against. Hmm, it's not very good against like Wicked Wolf and cards like that. Wicked Wolf and Voracious Hydra. Let's get this Bone Crusher Giant back in here. Kill the mana creatures. Bone Crusher Giant's better on the play to take out the turn one mana creatures than it is on the draw. I think we'll try this on the draw. I don't want to keep that burning tree. I should probably take the land though. I kind of want to take that burning tree. I want them to go turn two Gilded Goose right here. Just play a Gilded Goose. They should definitely do that during their turn. Could have just had a Veil of Summer to blow them out. They, sh they should just do that during their own turn. That should not be an upkeep thing. I would have played Land War Elf over Harpooner here if if we would have um, just drawn you know something else. I would have played Land War Elf here, but then of course drawing the Paradise Druid, we'll just play that instead.
Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. I think a little merriment is in order. All right, got rid of Oko. Quite the nibble. That's good. That's good. I couldn't. I mean, I, I only had two lands. I couldn't play Paradise Druid and Land War Elf previously. Possible I should just be playing the Spellbreaker with haste here. Like I could have just gone Spellbreaker, Llanowar Elf, and then attack seven on the ground and be able to keep Hellkite in the air and get the Spellbreaker in while it could. Behold, nature's true power. What? They attacked with Lano with Wicked Wolf? What are they doing? That must have been they meant to just attack with a one and attack with both. All right. Well, want to know? Got our first one. Oh, nice, Seraph. How'd it go for you? Okay. This deck's like, you know, pretty fun to play too, where if you just like, you know, just if you just like smashing and don't have to think too much, you just kind of play your stuff and attack. It's a fun one. And of course, it's very, very strong as well. All right, JJ, have a good night. Hey, Samantha. All right, good. We got a two drop to play along with Burning Tree Emissary. Looks like we got the Gruel Mirror. So your Slesny Adventures versus a Nissa Garrick food deck. This is a spot where Zertar Goblin would have been better because it would just be a 3-3. Three, three. And so they couldn't trade with the Pelt Collector with it right there. Oh, that's a pretty rough hand for them. Like, they're just missing lands. They didn't play a land last turn. They got a Shock Land, too. Oh, so they got Pay Life. That's kind of rough for them. Ian Ray, getting that Twitch Prime resub in. Thanks, Ian Ray. And Sab, one, two, five, six, twelve, fifty-six. Thanks, Sab. Thanks for also getting Twitch Prime sub in. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. That's awesome. Thank you, Sab. Gets us up to sixteen for our storm count.
All right, so if we play some ambushes. That's a weird word to say plural. I keep on ambushes. Oh, it's a weird plural word. It's hard to fit them in, too. So we're going to take out one Ember Cleave on the draw, I guess. I don't know if that's a great decision. Even still, though. But, you know, like, I think that Ambush is a card that can kind of help us break serve, which is what we need to be able to do on the draw. I'm going to trim one, one of each of these two drops. Oh, not a bad hand. Ugh. Looks like they have not a bad hand as well. Oh, don't have Burning Tree into Spellbreaker. That'd be even better than me just going turn two Spellbreaker. Ugh, that's even better. Not fancy at all, but it gets the job done. Nothing fancy about these Gruel decks. That was our best draw step right there. Yeah, Burning Tree was definitely our best draw step there. We're still dead on turn four, though. Questing Beast Ember Cleave is impossible to beat. All right, we're back on the play. Let's get this Ember Cleave back in here. No, Bone Crusher is good on the. Hmm. All right, basically I'm just so basically I'm going with the, the same starting deck, but instead of playing Harpooner, I'm playing Ambush. Good fast games, with Gruel though. You get four turns. If your opponent's not dead, that means you're dead. These cards hit so hard. Uh, so even if this is basic forest, we have turn one land war elf, turn two burning tree nothing, turn three... Questing Beast. We find a land. I mean, it could be worse than turn one land. We're off turn two, 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 turn three, Questing Beast, I guess. Maybe we'll draw a two or a three mana card to be able to play with Burning Tree here. Oh, I guess I have the, the Once Upon a Time. I'm definitely playing. That's true, so I do get to go Burning Tree once upon a time, at least. At the very least. Ooh. Even better. I'm 
Make sure we get that land drop for the beast next turn. Gosh, burning trees busted. <laughs> Look at that turn two. Man, burning tree is busted. Don't even have another one. Wow. So punished. So I think my opponent probably has Questing Beast in hand. A Questing Beast in Embercleave. So yeah, I obviously I could have just bone crushed the two two, but I, I made the attack. If I if I just bone crusher the, the burn their burning tree immediately and just you know bone crush their creature and then play Bone Crusher. Um you know, like that that's the exact same thing as what just happened. You know, I I just I attacked with my burning tree because either like they have three options. Either they take it, and I just got two free points of damage in. Either they block with the, the burning tree, and we just do the exact same play that we're going to do. Or they block with the 4-4, four, four, and then we get to kill the 4-4 four, four with the Bone Crusher Giant instead. But yeah, of course, I, I wanted to get the, the Bone Crusher in first and then ambush. Okay. 2-0. Oh. Won the Gruel Mirror. My opponent kind of got stuck on lands there. But that's what happened when they had such a great turn, too. Oh, uh, there's a visual bug again. It just says dash O. On my screen, it says it's supposed to be 1-0. Oh. I'll delete, make it a 2. All right, there we go. Now it says 2. 2-0. Two I did get the new computer almost. All of the parts came in um, except for the case. <laughs> for some reason, the case got delayed. It got shipped off from a different shipping center from like as far as away as it can in the US. And so the case isn't coming until Tuesday. Um, so I haven't been able to build it because I, I have everything else for it except for the case. Sometimes this happens. You just mold a five. That happens. Yeah. Hey, Templar. Thanks for the resub.
<laughs> yeah, technically the case isn't required. So I think... So I think my plan then it is... I think my plan right now is to take... Um, Harpooner is great. I wish we would have drawn the land and we could have gone Paradise Druid plus Harpooner. Haha. <laughs> Harpooner great. I'm telling y'all, there's a lot of these Gilded Goose decks around these days. I think I'm going to be taking Tuesday off with the stream. I know I wasn't really planning on taking a day off, but. Um, cause also, cause I, you know, I want to be able to build the computer, but then also on Tuesday, Hawkeye has a vet appointment because he's been, he's got a cold and he's sniveling a lot and his nose is runny. So he's just got a cold. So I need to take him into the vet and the call them yesterday. Their first time they had open was Tuesday. See, all we're doing is playing against creature decks. So like these ambushes are awesome. It's hard to fit the ambushes in. I want to just have like four main deck ambush, honestly. It's hard to find a room for them though. Might be a spellbreaker, a druid, and an ember cleave. A hellkite. No. Ember Cleave? No. Bone Crusher on the draw? Maybe Bone Crusher on the draw. Yeah, I know. So, his appointment's at noon. So, I think I'm going to go take care, you know, take care of him. And then come back and build a computer. And then hopefully Wednesday, we have a new computer set up. That's the goal, at least. Oh, I guess I should just lead with Land War Elf, because then Land War Elf could just play the Pelt Collector and then these. Yeah, I should have just led with the Land War Elf. Right. I just don't get to I don't get to attack with the Pelt Collector on turn two. So that's probably fine. Huh. So they could have played Lovestruck Beast. They have three mana right now, but they chose not to. So they obviously have interaction here. We'll just kind of see what they got. So it's either gust. Hey Jay Lamb. Yeah, so what do you do to keep your head up during hard times? Um Well one of course, happy birthday on Monday. That's awesome. So yeah, happy birthday. There. Um, From the smallest ant to the largest hydra. But yeah, you know, like basically, just life's gonna get better, and it's um, and you know, you just kind of have to, just kind of have to do the best you can each day and everything, and and if you just, um. If you let, if you let yourself just kind of wallow in sadness whenever you're going through a rough time, you just won't won't get out of it and and won't really get the the most of your life. You know, like we only have one life, and you just have to realize that not everything's going to be perfect, and but that's okay. That if everything's not perfect, just do the best with what you got, and try to find ways to enjoy life, you know, like just take, take the best or, um, get the best enjoyment that you can out of life. 
Well, you can. I guess that's my best adv advice there. What happened to Hawkeye? He's sitting right over here by my by my hand. He's sitting basically right on my hand. Over here. Wish I had something to kill this land off because it's been adding so much mana with the ley line of abundance for him. But I don't. Certainly would not mind an Ember Cleave. Certainly would not mind a number cleave. Hopefully that helps, J Lamb. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Witness the ties that bind us all. The land fights for us. All right, it's we're in uh, Ember Cleave or Bust territory, for sure. Looking like Bust. The land shall conquer you. So question is, Ritual of Soot or Cry of the Carnarium for Black Sweepers right now? It kind of depends. It's like Ritual of Soot is is what you really want against Nissa decks. Cry of the Carnarium is really what you want against Cauldron Familiar decks. So I guess you can kind of pick um, which one of those. Man, we drew, we drew three more lands than our opponent. And we only have 22 in our deck. Um... You can kind of pick which one of those you want your extra card for. All right, getting the the Bone Crusher Giant back in on the play because on we can kill their one mana mana creature on turn two on the play. I don't know if I'm supposed to be taking out these spellbreakers. There's just not. It's basically either spellbreaker or, or harpooner. And you know they're a gilded goose deck. Like this is exactly where I want harpooner. It's tough to take it out. I like all of those cards.
Alright, looks like they got Ether Gust again. I still think I play Once Upon a Time. Look for land. Which we do need red mana. So obviously, I could I could ambush the one one and then ambush the love struck beast, and attack for five. But then if they have ether gust, which I think is pretty likely, then they just ether gust my harpooner, and I'm kind of nowhere. I mean, I guess I'm trying to draw a land to be able to play hell kite at that point. I guess I still just do this. That does kind of take their turn. Well, I like that. I like that them ether gusting the Hellkite, not ether gusting the Harpooner. Let's keep this Harpooner in play. Ugh. I don't like that though. So should I do the one-one counter on Hellkite or haste four? If I go haste, let's see. They have two for Gilded Goose. They have four. If they have Voracious Hydra, they could kill Hellkite right now. They need a land drop plus Voracious Hydra. Oh, but they don't... No, they don't have the food to sacrifice for the Goose. Never mind. So they're just looking at four mana. Hey, Rex. Okay, will do. This is lethal. We're doing 10. Lethal. GG's. He's still just nothing fancy to the deck. Oh, we ranked up out of... Alright, we ranked up into Diamond also. Cool. So there we go. I said that we were just be playing a short league, a short three-match league here because it was already late with playing all the other standard decks and everything. And that's all we needed. We only needed three matches to get us to um, to Diamond. So awesome. So yeah, we're still undefeated with this deck. Um, you know, it's still very good. I, I still, I think I like the Harpooners. You know, like the Harpooner looked looked solid. Um, there was definitely one time where a Zertar, Zerta Goblin would have been better than the Harpooner. But then there was another time where the, the Harpooner like made my, my, made my opponent just concede on the spot, killing a Goose. Um... So yeah, that's pretty good. I really wish we could just fit the ambushes in here. Like maybe. 
I mean, it's it's basically where Harpooner, Paradise Druid, Bone Crusher, Giant, like those cards are, because I don't think I don't think you really get rid of any of the four ofs, and I don't think we should cut lands. We saw a lot of times where we were kind of struggling with lands. I don't think we cut any lands, and I don't think we take out the Hellkites. The Hellkites have been awesome. So, like, really the only way to fit Ambush main deck is is where Bone Crusher, Paradise Druid, and Harpooner is, so... That's kind of tough. Could be the fourth ambush should be in the board instead of the fourth cinder vines. The fourth cinder vines could just be overkill for Nexus. Il Ilmin, thank you so much with that Twitch Prime sub there, Ilmin. I appreciate that. Um. But. So some other things to just kind of watch, you know, those are just some things to kind of think about with the deck of, like, basically how to get more Ambush in. Because it does seem to just, like, everybody's playing the creature decks. And Ambush is so good in the creature matchups. There. I think I would, I definitely think I would just go with the four of those and probably play one of these main over... Over a Paradise Druid. Do we really need three Paradise Druid? Maybe. We kind of do. So maybe one over a Harpooner. Just in the main. I don't know. Our best turn is like Pelt Collector into Burning Tree plus Harpooner. Make it a three power. I don't really want to take out Harpooner. That's the thing is that I don't really want to take out a Paradise Druid, and I don't really want to take out a Harpooner, and I don't really want to take out a, a Bone Crusher Giant. So it's just hard. It's hard to play him. But I wouldn't mind playing one or two in the in the main. <sighs> too many good cards. Too many good cards. That's when you know your deck's good when you have too many good cards. All right, but that's it. Uh, like we said before, we're just doing the the short league here. Just the quick three matches. A good. 3-0 there. Uh, Y'all on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. Also, let me know how it's going for you. Leave some comments. I know there's a lot of y'all playing this deck. Leave some comments of um, how you're doing with the deck and all that kind of stuff. You know, like, Kind of like those last card slots, what you think, um, and uh, everything like that. Yeah, no, why change anything, right? Yeah, we haven't lost the deck yet. That's a good point, good point. Um, but there we go. That's Gruel Aggro in Historic. One of the best decks for sure. Burning Tree Emissary is pretty broken. Um, I think that's what we'll just title the video. Burning Tree is broken. That's a good title. All right. Thank you so much for watching some Gruel Aggro. Um, oh, last thing. Of course, check out the Patreon. I, I put a new post in there today of the decks that I think, uh, decks for the Mythic Championship this weekend. Decks that I think will do well. Decks that I don't think, that I think won't do well. I put some predictions up there. Just a real short thing. Just some predictions um, in the deck. In the deck, uh, kind of dark horse deck that I think will win it all. Um, so yeah, check out Patreon for that. And of course, uh, uh, just if you like, if you really like my videos, for the, those of y'all watching on YouTube and want to help support my videos and maybe uh, you know don't you know feel better about turning on ad blocker and then just go you know turn on the ad blocker, go support on Patreon. I would appreciate that. There's a link down below in the video. But thanks so much for watching some Gruel Aggro, and I'll see you for the next video.